Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My name's Trish from Downey's Candle Company. And this week is week 10 of my series. I thought this week I would make some wine candles. Found some wine scents like Chardonnay, um, Merlot, and White Zinfandel that I thought smelled pretty good. And then I found some um, like stemless wine glass candle jars. So I thought I would make some wine candles with those. And if you want to see how I do that, keep watching. All right, so let's talk about some materials that I'll be using to make these wine candles. These vessels are from a specialty bottle. They remind me of the stemless wine glasses. The wicks that I'm going to be using for this are zinc core wicks. The size I chose is 36, 24, 24. Wick stickers, wick setter, wick holder. Fragrances are the from the Flaming Candle, the Chardonnay with some green dye. White Zinfandel from Nature's Garden with some magenta dye. And then Merlot also from Nature's Garden with some red dye. The wax that I chose to use with this is Coconut Apricot Cream and 4630 Harmony Blend. Along with my scale and my thermometer, those kind of things. I pre-whipped all of these jars to save you the boringness of watching me do it. I left this one for us to do together. And as you can see, I just put it in my wick setter with the wick sticker on it. And these jars are pretty easy to get it centered since they are one and a half inches at the bottom. So pretty easy to figure out where the center is. So we're making these in batches of three. And the first one we're going to do is the Merlot. I heat the wax up to about 195. Now this is a combination, as I said, of coconut apricot cream and the Harmony Blend 4630. I use 85% coconut apricot cream and 15% of the Harmony Blend. This, when I first started testing, I tested with just coconut apricot cream and I was having a little bit of trouble wicking and I think it was probably mostly due to the tapered jar. This is the first time I worked with a tapered jar and man, I must have gone through probably eight or nine wicks. And then I said, I'm going to add a little bit of the Harmony Blend in there since I had some laying around my workshop, which is just my spare room. But I figured I'd do that. I tried a few more wicks, then I did some more research to try to find a cooler, a cooler burning wick, and that's when I started researching some zinc wicks. And then I probably got about three different ones of those and tried three. And the one that I felt worked the best was the 362424, because that got me a nice melt pool from the top of the jar all the way out down to the bottom with very, very minimal hang up on the sides and very little soot because I, in my, in my mind, I don't like the soot on the side of the jars. And if there's a lot of black soot to me, that's a fail. Cause I like my pretty jars to look pretty all the way through burning. So anyways, now that I have this all mixed up, um, I am using, I forgot to tell you, 11% fragrance oil in these. And this Merlot is a little bit of stronger scent. So in that I am using the 11%. I think I don't, I didn't count how many drops, I'm sorry, of a red that I put in there, but it was probably quite a few because I wanted to get it a nice dark, dark Merlot colored color. And as you can see, as I'm mixing it, I just took a little, a little wooden stick, which I will admit that I took from the Homewood Suites when I stayed there. Instead of mixing my coffee with it, I just took a couple or one handful anyways, and I use those to test the color anytime I'm doing any colored wax and I have a color in mind that I want. I just take that and put it on some freezer paper and keep adding more until I get the color I want. So now I'm just going to set these, these wicks so they can um, firm up with the wick in the middle. And then after that, I'm going to clean my melting pot out. I'm using a double boiler method 
with this because I, I usually use the double boiler method, to be honest, because I don't make large batches. So it's just easier for me to be able to clean that out. And next, we're going to move on now to the white Zinfandel. So for this one, it's actually a lighter fragrance, as is, I guess, with the wine itself. So I do a 12% fragrance load with the white Zinfandel. And that, I find, works pretty good to have a nice strong smell when it's burning and so for white Zinfandel I just really wanted a light pink um, color for my wax so I it, I couldn't really do a whole drop because that would that would probably make it a pretty deep pink color so I just as you can see my little stirrer sticks that I stole I just used that and I put a little bit in and then I'll test it to see if it's the color I want. I, I was, sometimes I also use toothpicks to get some color in there. But then I'll just test it on this, as you can see, and add more if I need to add more. Just, just until I get the, I just really wanted a very light pink in my mind. White Symphonelle is just a pretty light pink color. So once I have these all done, you can see I, I added it very, very little at a time so that I could get the right color that I wanted. And then I'm going to start pouring these. And I'll just get these poured in and then I'm going to add the wick bars so that when these set up, the wicks will be in the center. I'm going to set these to the side and then bring out the last three glasses for the last wine candle that we're making, which is the Chardonnay. So Chardonnay is also a lighter scent, and I decided to do a 12-ounce fragrance load with this one as well, like I did with the White Zinfandel. Also with this one, I'm doing the same thing I did um, with both the Merlot and the White Zinfandel where I'm using this coffee stirrer to add the dye. I, I just want this one to be just a hint of green. So i adding it and then you can see I'm testing it on the freezer paper to make sure I get the color that I want. It takes a few tries, but it's a lot easier to add a little bit of color at a time than it is to well, you really can't take color away, so you just have to melt more, more wax, figure out more fragrance, blah, 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 blah. Same, same thing. Anyway, so I'm going to get these all poured and then also add the wick bars with this one as well. Just so that when they set up, they are centered. And then once this is done, I will let you go for a little while while these get all hardened up and I will bring you back to show you what they look like. So these are all set up now and I'm just removing the wick bars. I'm trimming the wicks down to a quarter of an inch. And I think these came out nice. I'm pretty happy with them despite all of the issues I had with trying to narrow down a wick that worked up to my standard that I like to see. Just also going to heat gun the top of these, give them an extra shine and smooth the top out. And overall, I'm pretty happy with the way these came out. And once they're completely set up, I will show them to you again for a final showing. Okay, so now the candles have all set up and I'm back to show you the finished product. This is the Chardonnay. This is the White Zinfandel. And this is the Merlot. And I will tell you with this one, um, you saw in the video I used red dye, which I don't know why, because when I had thought about this, I, in my mind, I was using burgundy dye and when I tested them and made them for me to burn, I used burgundy dye. So with this, I did scrape out the ones that you saw, melted them back down, added burgundy. So this is red and burgundy mixed together, but I think it came out a nice color for Merlot. So here are all three, and I think all the colors came out really nice. 
and um, obviously the Merlot is the strongest scented one, but I guess that would make sense since Merlot is a um, more vibrant tasting wine, if that even makes sense. I'm not a big wine person, but, and these ones are a little bit of a softer scent. So I hope you like this video and I hope you stick around and watch week 11 because I'm going to make um, concrete candles. So I'm going to show you how I make the concrete vessel and then go in to show you how I make the candles. So I hope to see you then. Thank you. Bye.